In this picmonic, we will learn about the upper extremity, shown here by the upper extremity forest which attracts adventurous children. The upper extremity consists of a series of unique joints in the shoulder and arm. The sternoclavicular, or SC joint, shown by the sternum clavicle, is the point where the clavicle and manubrium articulate. It is a strong, saddle-type joint that rarely experiences dislocations. The acromioclavicular, or AC joint, shown by the acorn man clavicle, is where the clavicle articulates with the acromion of the scapula. It secures the clavicle and scapula. AC joint motion is facilitated by SC joint and scapulothoracic joint motion. The glenohumeral, or GH joint, shown by the gecko humerus, is the articulation of the proximal humeral head and the glenoid cavity of the scapula. This joint is a synovial ball and socket joint. The tendon of the long head of the biceps is enclosed in this capsule. The glenohumeral joint allows for extensive range of motion in all planes. The scapulothoracic joint, shown by scapula thor, is not a true joint, but rather the movement of the scapula on the thorax and is responsible for the scapulohumeral rhythm and occurs at a 1 to 2 ratio. The Apley scratch test, shown by the apple scratch, tests shoulder range of motion and has three components. The patient is asked to touch the opposite shoulder behind their head, abduction and external rotation. Touch the opposite shoulder in front of their body, adduction and internal rotation, and touch the opposite scapula behind the back, internal rotation and adduction. The clavicle teeter-totter, shown by the clavicle teeter-totter, describes the motion of the clavicle. The distal and proximal portions always move in opposite directions, and movement of the shoulder can cause clavicular rotation. Scapular glide, shown by the scapular glider, refers to the motion of the scapula along the thorax. This increases the range of motion and improves strength of the upper extremity during activity. Rotator cuff tendinopathy, shown by the rotating shoulder's tendon part hat, is a common injury of the glenohumeral joint. It involves inflammation of the tendons that make up the rotator cuff. The supraspinatus tendon is the most common cause, and pain is exacerbated by abduction from 60 to 120 degrees. Treatment includes NSAIDs, ice, rest, OMT, and physical therapy. Subacromial impingement, shown by the subacorn man impinged, refers to inflammation of the tendons of the rotator cuff due to pressure from the acromion. It is caused by muscle tension or somatic dysfunction. Treatments include NSAIDs, corticosteroid injections, and OMT treatment. Frozen shoulder, shown by the frozen shoulder, is characterized by decreased range of motion during active and passive movement. Tenderness is present with palpation of the anterior shoulder. It is most common in those over 40 years of age. Spencer's technique is an OMT technique designed for frozen shoulders and can be used in addition to physical therapy and NSAIDs. In summary, the upper extremity is composed of sternoclavicular, acromioclavicular, glenohumeral, and scapulothoracic joints. The range of motion of the shoulder is large and can be tested with the Apley scratch test. Motion of the clavicle is described by the clavicle teeter-totter, and motion of the scapulothoracic joint is described by scapular glide. Common injuries of the shoulder include rotator cuff tendinopathy, subacromial impingement, and frozen shoulder. To remember the upper extremities, just think of these kids happening upon a shoulder and arm forest. They climb up the sternum and cross the clavicle bridge. That's where they first saw the acorn man on the clavicle. The little nut man told the children that this was a magical place, where the creatures tell jokes and laugh, like the gecko humorous. Even their favorite superheroes can be found here, as just then, Thor arises from the scapula. The kiddos were enthralled indeed. That's when they were lured even deeper into the forest. They came across delicious apples and played the Apple Scratch game, where they tried to hold an apple behind their back. They even found a clavicle teeter-totter. One child made a glider from a scapula. The adventures were all the kids ever dreamed of. It was all fun and games until the party was over, literally. The children went down a path of anger the deeper they traveled into the forest. They started to fight each other, 
with a rotating shoulder, breaking tendons and party hats in the throes of blows. For the rest of the story, check out Picmonic.com and sign up for a free account. There, you can also take Picmonic's quiz. The quiz automatically sets up your daily quiz by using spaced repetition algorithms based on the questions you've missed or struggled with to make sure you study what you need when you need to. And while you're there, check out the rest of our Body Regions Picmonics. We've got all the content you'll need to remember. Everything from Cranial 2, Strain Patterns, Cranial Motion and Structural Exam, Sacrum Motion and Structural Exam, Sacrum 2, Somatic Dysfunctions of the Sacrum, Innominates, and so much more, so you can lock down on everything you need to know forever. Play, quiz, and spaced repetition. Efficient, effective, and research proven to increase exam scores.